Whether you have a basic older style dial thermostat, an electronic programmable thermostat, or a fully integrated smart unit wired into your home, the thermostat serves as the communication unit for your furnace. From the most basic to the most complex, they all contain a temperature activated switch that tells the furnace to begin the heating cycle when the air temperature dips below the comfort zone at which you've set it. It also sends a signal to stop the heating cycle once that set temperature has been reached. Your furnace does several things simultaneously when it receives the signal to start the cycle. The gas valves open, the burners are ignited, and the blower turns on. The burners in your furnace are similar to the burners on a gas grill. There are a set of tubes through which the natural gas enters the furnace and is burned. The flames are initiated and controlled by an igniter, the gas valve, and flame sensors. Depending on the age or model of your unit, you may have a pilot light a small gas-powered flame that stays constantly lit to ignite the burners on demand, or you may have an electronic ignition system. The flame sensor is a safeguard that shuts off the gas if the burners for some reason do not ignite. Simultaneously with the burners being lit, air is drawn into the unit through the draft hood with a fan to create a mix of gas and air for combustion. The fan serves to make combustion leaner and more fuel efficient. It then blows the heat from the burners to the heat exchanger, where the circulating air is warmed and exhaust gases are vented out. The heat exchanger in your furnace is comprised of metal tubes heated by the burners. These may sometimes be referred to as baffles and have various models will allow different designs to slow down the air and promote heat transfer to the passing air. This is the heated air that will be pumped into your ductwork and registers. The blower fan is the component that moves air coming into the unit from the cold air return ducts into the heat exchanger. It also forces the heated air throughout the ducts and registers of your home. Most high efficiency units have a variable speed blower that can self-adjust fan speed during operation. The air filter that you replace periodically on your furnace works in conjunction with the blower, helping to keep the majority of dirt and contaminants from entering the furnace and damaging it or making it less efficient. One of the most important pieces of your furnace is the flue vent. This connection to the outside carries spent combustion gases out and away from your living space to keep you safe. Periodically inspecting the flue, its seams, and its connection to the furnace will assure heat stays in and gases and exhaust stay out for safe and effective operation of your furnace. All of these components work together to create the heating cycle. In a forced air furnace, that cycle looks like this. The thermostat sends a signal to the furnace control panel. The gas valves open and natural gas or propane is ignited through the burner. The burners warm the heat exchanger, which in turn warms the incoming air. The blower moves the heated air into the ductwork, distributing it throughout the home. Warm air rises and fills each room, forcing colder, denser air back into the furnace and through the cold air return ducts feeding air to the furnace to repeat the process.